using the Chromebook during English time um, for my integrated activity to share with my teachers. I've also been using it in English for my um, uh, clarifying questions and um, things that I need to send to my teacher for what I've done during class. I use them in class in mostly in CBL because we're um, making our presentations and making posters and things like that and in reading and writing groups. I use the Chromebook to research and to share documents with my classmates so that we can use the same like document and we can help each other to finish our presentation or document or form. Um, we've been able to do presentations, documents, forms for our reading groups and CBL. We've used them a lot and they've really helped me. Well so far in the, as a classroom teacher I've used the Chromebooks throughout each day, throughout the lessons, um, every lesson. So from all KLA perspectives I've been able to embed the Chromebooks. The best way that we have integrated it into the curriculum is through the easy access and the navigation that the Chromebook offers and through that we've been able to easily access the variety of apps that are available and then getting to know them ourselves so that we can meaningfully integrate them into what activities and content that we want to come across through the children. I really like the Chromebook because you, you get fast access to what anything you want like anywhere you, anywhere you are. It's because it's all in the cloud you don't even have to save it or anything, so you can just get out of it and you go back in it and it's already there. If you're working on it, it when you when you um, open it, it, you don't have to press the power button and it opens, but it's just um, on your thing um, already. You just have to type your email and password. It's really easy to use. It's different to other devices, like it, it has its own unique features. The key is actually, it, it, it's smaller, that, that makes the Chromebook unique. They're much smaller, they're thinner and they're easier to carry around. Um, it took me about a day or two to figure out how to use it properly. And what I really like about the Chromebook is that all the different kinds of apps that we can use um, that works really good with the Chromebook. The only thing I don't really like about the keyboard is that there's no caps lock so you have to keep on holding shift and type all the letters but I, I like how there's less keys and how there's all keyboard shortcuts. When the children complete their tasks they've been able to um, work cooperatively with other, other children so that's we build leadership, try and build leadership skills within the children and we ask them to you know to be responsible for their own learning and Chromebooks have been able to um, enhance that learning. It's been a tool that has enhanced that learning because the teachers have been able to you know, see that the children are working together. They might not be sitting next to one another but they can still collaborate and work together as a group to achieve a common goal. First of all, the variety, the bigger variety we have and the, bigger, the more tools we have to translate content, to allow the children to explore content and again to express themselves of what they know. The children and I, we do love the easy navigation. That's probably the best um, it's probably one of the best things. It's lightweight, you open it up, it turns on, and the children are always excited. Boys and girls, we're going to get the Chromebooks now, we're going to do this today, because there's always something new to learn. There's a, there's a new app for them to use. When that comes to catering to the students and the diverse learners, it's perfect in the way that the children can choose. I'm going to make a presentation, and then the Chromebook offers this. You can simultaneously look at the research, so that they're not flicking backwards and forwards, and they're, they, they're sparking with all these ideas and the Chromebook consolidates that because you do have a plethora of apps, a plethora of ways that they can express themselves. Probably the biggest major issue we've had is in regards to the network. With things like reading activities, integrating it with our maths activities, um, integrating across the whole curriculum, uh, if it does slow down, they, they, they do get a little bit distracted. Some of them even get upset that they haven't had a chance to do all that they've wanted to do. It's a smaller challenge, but making sure that all the children are on par. If we're all accessing the same uh, app or similar apps, making sure that they all know exactly how to use it. But then again, that comes from just making sure that we know it so that we can translate the knowledge to the children and therefore they can use it to the best of their ability to express themselves to the best way that they would like to express themselves. After about like when term three started, like I really enjoyed it and like knew a lot about it. 
So I asked my mum if I could get one and she said yes and at home if I don't finish anything off in the Cranbook workshop I do it at home and I use it as a normal computer as well.